This is Sanjay, developer of the app. A little time suite is a timekeeping tool set. It's advanced, innovative, and easy. Algorithm has five timekeeping tools. Stopwatch Pro, which creates new stopwatches with abilities for labs, splits, averages, graphs, etc. Timer Pro, which creates new timers with tasks. X Logger creates new advanced activity loggers. And the most advanced timekeeping tool for pros and freelancers is Pro Keeper. Quick Stopwatch on Home Hub is the basic, simple, and easily accessible stopwatch. In this video, we will talk about Quick Stopwatch, the basic tool. Averill is Windows Phone exclusive. It's built from the grounds up, keeping in view the minimal design principle. Let's fire the app. On starting Averill, you land on Home Hub. This is the Home Hub. Home Hub has four sections. First, quick stopwatch. Second, new to create new timekeepers. Third, recent, peak views of recent timekeepers and options. Our focus today is quick stopwatch. At any point of time, if you need help about how quick stopwatch works, tap on help button. The help text would show up at the respective places. You would notice that the help placards are waving. It means they are temporary. After about 7 seconds, they will swipe out of the screen automatically. You can manually clear them by tapping on screen or by swapping away from the section. Let's reset quick stopwatch to start from scratch. You will notice the hands move at initial position and middle knob is depressed. This is reset state of quick stopwatch. We can start the watch by tapping on middle knob. The second hand starts streaking and the chronometer starts updating time with two digit millisecond precision. Here I would like to emphasize that you can quit the app and start it again, but you'll still find quick stopwatch accurately tracking time. So don't worry if a little goes in background or your phone locks or you switch off your phone. You can freely navigate in the app and come back to find quick stopwatch actively tracking time. Tap middle knob again to pause the watch. The watch freezes. Tap the middle knob again to start the watch. So middle knob is start pause toggle. Again whatever state the watch is in will be preserved by the app all the time even if you are not in the app. Double tapping the dial is like operating the middle knob. Double tap to start the watch or pause it if running. You can see middle knob reacting to double tap. You can always tap on middle knob anyway. Quick stopwatch is basic stopwatch. For multiple stopwatches and advanced functions like splits, labs, averages, sharing, etc., use Watch Pro from new section. But for basic lab recording, you can tap on right knob. You see a lap mark of second hand position is created and shown at lap, lap time. This lap mark goes away automatically after about 30 seconds. You can note down the lap time in these 30 seconds. As I said, quick stop watches for basic scenarios where you don't need lap splits. For advanced lap splits recording scenarios, use Watch Pro. You can create many stop watches with Watch Pro and track laps and splits in each of them separately and simultaneously. You create advanced stopwatches with Watch Pro from new page. New advanced stopwatches is created and detail of the same opens. You tap on lap button to create a new lap. All splits and laps are displayed in list with best worst lap times highlighted. You have average lap time with other editable info also. Best worst laps 
are automatically and instantaneously calculated and marked. Stopwatch Pro can create an image of the current state of the watch with graphs. You can share this image on Facebook, Twitter or any other social network. You exit detail view to get back to our viral home hub. The advanced stopwatch you just created is available for a peak view in recent section, Alive. You can open the detail view if required by tapping on the peak view of the watch. Okay, let's get back to our today's focus, quick stopwatch. We were talking about different knobs on quick stopwatch. The leftmost knob is for resetting the watch. Also, if the watch is in reset state and you tap on this knob, a 10 second delay starts. After 6 seconds of delay, 3 beeps will sound 1 second apart and with a gunshot sound, the stopwatch will start. We'll see later how we can disable these sounds if you need to. Let's talk about a cool feature of quick stopwatch, the counter. You tap on bezel here to open the counter button. Tap on counter button to increase the counter. The incremental counter is displayed here. You can count up to as many numbers and at any interval you need. Exiting the app does not affect the status of the watch. When you get back in, your counter is there and time is accurately tracking still. You can increment the counter again. Resetting the watch resets the time and hide the counter button. If you need to count in your new instance, you can again open counter button by tapping the bezel and increment the count by tapping the button. When watch is in reset state, uh, we'll see now. When watch is in reset state, tapping on the bezel will toggle show hide of the button. So uh, here only the, the button will show or hide if the watch is in reset state. But if you start it, counter button will only increment counter when the watch is running. To conclude, uh, let's see some display and behavior settings. Avil gets its theme from device's current theme. When you change the theme of the device, Avil complies and follows. Quick stop watch will have its color from the accent color of the device. You can tell Avril to show, uh, okay, so let's see that first. Um, when you start Avril now, you'll see that you see the, the accent color is orange. And um, you can tell Avril to show stopwatch hands in contrast to accent color. So there you go, contrast color in quick timekeeper and set it to on. Uh, but the hands are still white because you know you need to come out of the app to have that setting take effect. Here you see it's in blue. Whatever is your accent color, the hands would be shown in respective contrast color. Let's try it out with green accent color. Check out the hands in contrast color when we go back in the application so here we are selecting the green color and when we go back in the app here you see the hands in contrast color oh 
um, let's try it out with uh, magenta here the hands would be in the contrast of magenta that is green so um, so you can see the hands in contrast color but if you want to see the hands in white color always you can go back and uh, set contrast color in quick timekeeper to off and uh, exit the app and come back again and now the hands will all be in white color always there are many settings in Avril to control how the app looks and acts. We'll talk about some settings specific to Quick Stopwatch. Autolock on Timekeeper screen controls whether your device goes into lock screen or not. If this is on, phone will comply with Autolock setting. But remember, this does not affect any of your timekeepers in any way. Start Avril again to find them tracking time. If this is off, phone will not auto lock on any screen which is showing some active timekeeper. Everywhere else, auto lock would still kick in. You can choose from styles page the font style you want to use for showing time. The chronometer section of the quick stopwatch will have the style you choose here. You'll need to exit the app to apply these settings. Lastly, if you want to mute all the sounds, for example, knob clicking, delay alerts, etc. on quick stopwatch, set all sounds to off. So please do not forget to review Averil. Tap on this button in your app and show some love. Thank you. For videos about other advanced timekeeping tools in Averil, do visit www.pilcoapps.com. Happy timekeeping.